will now move to the fourth presentation because it's not only happening the, the ligation EMR in Japan, it may also happen in Europe. And it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Stefan Groff, to, who will uh, guide you through this uh, procedure from Europe. Hello from Zurich. My name is Stefan Groth. I'm here with my team Anna and Doris. And we would like to present you the method which Professor Yahagi just explained. We have a young patient with a small submucosal tumor in the rectum, which is highly suspicious for a net tumor. Our first scope we prepared is a Olympus GIF XZ 1200, the zoom gastroscope. And we'd like to present you the case or the lesion with this endoscope. Coming here from the anal channel, the lesion is located around four or five centimeters above the anal channel. And you see it here nicely with normal mucosum pattern. And with the zoom endoscope, I can demonstrate you even a closer look on the mucosa. Here you see nicely the pattern of the normal colon mucosa. And turning on TXI, it's an absolutely normal colon pattern, and even with NBI, you can see it nicely. And I go a bit closer and zoom in even more. So you can see the full magnification power of this endoscope. So this lesion is highly suspicious for a tumor, and the question is how to treat such lesions. It's a very small lesion below 10 millimeters, and of course we could go for standard EMR, but we have a high risk of R1 resection. And so we think of different methods. Of course we have the ESD technique, which is maybe a bit overdone, as we have a long procedure, and we have a or even longer procedure, and we have a high risk of bleeding and even perforation. The other method, which you already saw, is a full thickness resection, a very good method, but also cost intensive and maybe even a bit of an overtreatment for such a small lesion. And that's the reason why we would like to show you the quite simple band ligation technique. And for that reason, we're going to mark the lesion to keep a better overview. And we take the APC probe for that case. I go quite close to the lesion. Okay, so I have it marked now, and now we're going to change the scope. So for the resection, we're taking the 1TH 190 endoscope of Olympus, and we have already prepared the duet system of Cook Company. With that system, we have the advantage, and with the larger working channel of the endoscope, that we can suck through the channel and through the cranking device, and we can even uh, place a needle or a core grasp afterwards. And now I'm introducing the injection needle. For the injection technique, it's very important to have a long-lasting lifting solution. And in that case, we're taking the Orise scale of Boston Company. So I'm trying to get below that lesion and just to get the injection just a little below. Okay, injection. Okay, now we're injecting. I try to inject around 5 cc. Okay, perfect. You see a very nice lifting of the lesion. Going a bit back. Yeah, you see a nice lifting here in the center of our lesion. And the lesion came up with the lifting. So now I'm going a bit closer and press my endoscope onto the lesion. And now I start sucking. So I get the lesion close to my lens. And now I'm firing the first ring, or the only ring I will fire. And I can already see the lesion is completely in the ring, so looks perfect. Through the cranking device, I can now also insert the snare. And I'll try to cut the ring below the ring, so close to the colon wall. Okay, open the snare.
Okay, I can see the ring now. Okay, close slowly. Yeah, perfect. So I'm below the lesion. I can check once again by lifting the endoscope tip. Looks nice. Now I cut the lesion and suck it out. Okay, I removed the duet system now and I'll take a look again without a cap. And I'll try to close that lesion with some clips. From that side it looks perfect. Also no vessel to see. Maybe down here, but not really. I think nothing I have to coagulate. I try to close the lesion with two clips now. And we're taking the Cook Instinct clip for that. Open the clip. Perfect. I try to place the clip now over the resection area. And grasp a bit more tissue here. And close. With the Instinct clip, which has a very large diameter, I can now just clo close it. Hold on for a second. I and I can check whether it's possible, <laughs> but it was possible. And uh, next clip, please. And it plays the second one just above. Okay, open the clip. Okay, close. Now it's closed and I just by pulling, I can see if I grabbed enough tissue, but looks fine. So you can completely close the clip. Okay. Hmm? Okay, so you can, you can see the resected specimen and you can already see if we go a bit closer that it's com the lesion is completely covered by bluish submucosal layer. So I think it's resected completely, but of course we will ask our pathologist if she can tell us whether it's resected and of course what kind of lesion that is. Is it a net tumor? <laughs>